and here we are. It's time for video and tweet, and I'm gonna start with the tweet. So let's move right over here. First, um, I am on, let's see, what page do we put the tweet on? The index page, I believe. Let's take a look at that. Yes, indeed, add Twitter feed right here. So um, you can do any social media that you'd like, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and so forth, but I'm gonna show you how to do Twitter feed. I believe they all work pretty much the same. So I'm gonna go to my Twitter site. You have to have an account, of course. And then I'm gonna go to my settings right here. Under settings, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here and go to widgets. And under widgets, I've already set up some widgets and these are how we set up a new um, uh, feed. I'm gonna create a new one. I do not tweet very much, so this is my only tweet. Hello world. Uh, so I'm gonna use another uh, video feed. Let's use, um, I love type topography. So that's one that I follow here. And if I do that and hit return, it will show us this, okay. I can come down here and then continue to um, customize it. Include replies, expand photos, the height, and the height I'm gonna set to about 350. That's in pixels. The theme, light or dark. Not a lot of choices here, but I think dark will work better with mine, so I'm gonna to go to dark on that. My link colors, I want to be that orange color, so I can click in here, and they have an orange color that's close. Or, if I really wanna get particular, I can type in that hexadecimal number um, that I used right in my website, right there, and it will make it exactly the same orange. Also, you'll see right here, uh, there's a lot of custom, uh, customization that you can do with this. If you click on this, it gives you a whole bunch of, of ways to customize this. I am going to leave it like it is right now and say save changes. And right now, all I need to do is copy this. So when I click in there, it selects it all, and I'm gonna copy it, Command C. I'm gonna run right back over here. I'm going to put it, let's go to design view real quick. I wanna put it here. So I'm gonna look at the code view with that selected, and there's that Twitter feed. So I'm gonna take this area, and let's take it right there, make some space for it, and then paste it right in. So here's all the stuff it, it put in there, and I'm gonna go back to design mode, which I don't see anything, and then I'm gonna go to live mode, and there it is. Is that not amazing? So you can scroll through all this stuff, uh, reply at the bottom, do all that good stuff. Now, the deal is it's, oh, it's already auto set for this. So, well, in the olden days, you had to set it so that it would squeeze down with the box, but now it's, um, it's looking quite nice, just the way I want it. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, I will save. I guess I should preview it in a browser just to be safe. And there it is, wonderful. Fire, okay, back over here. I'm gonna dismiss this, we are done with it, and we are gonna go now to video. I'm gonna start with putting in HTML, HTML5 video. Um, that means that the video is present on my site and I'm not just linking to another site. Later I'll show you how to put in an iframe video um, that links to a, a YouTube video. So first, this. I've, uh, you can't just drop in one video if you want to be more compliant to all the browsers that are out there. So at the very minimum, I need to create three videos uh, to use in my website so that if it hits a browser that doesn't use MP4, uh, it'll have the other two alternate videos to pick up. So it'll play on almost every browser. Uh, if we do just the minimum. So how do I do that, you might ask. I looked around and found this Miro, M-I-R-O, Video Converter. So it's MiroVideoConverter.com. I'll put the link in the bottom if I remember. <laughs> and then uh, it's a free download uh, for Mac. And down here there's also a Windows version of the same thing. So I did download it. And here it is. 
here's my original movie I took with my phone Catalina and all I need to do is drag that movie on here the .mov it shows up up here and then I pick the format that I want for the web here's the, the three formats that I'm looking for under video this web m hd I want one of those I want an mp4 and then I want an OGG so this one this one and this one under video under format there's all these other formats that it will convert for you um, which is wonderful but not what we need right now so with that let me see if I do this and say mp4 then I hit convert it will begin to convert that I have already done this so in my video folder I have my WebM, my OGV, my MP4, and I also made a thumbnail uh, for my video, and I'll show you how all that works. Where I need to put all this information is in my current site folder, which now is 9, copy 2, so I'm just going to drag it in here, make a copy of it, so it will be available for me when I go back over to Dreamweaver. So back over here, I'm in design mode and I want to put in the video right after this subheadline. I'm going to go to the insert file and from the insert file I will go to media and pick HTML5 video. It inserts this guy right here and then opens up all these properties at the bottom. So from my files menu I should be able to see my video. There it is. I'm going to open it up and I see I have all this stuff available. My main video is going to be this MP4. So I'm going to come down here to where it says source and use this pointer to click and drag onto this mp4 and it should fill that field out for me. Okay, my alternate source movies, my OGV movie is going to be my second source. So alternate source one, I will click and drag and it seems to remember that I've done this before. I'm going to click this one and drag it to the web M movie and I want to do that twice there we go now it's picking MP4 oh I did that my bad there we go I'm gonna double check the code to make sure this is okay <laughs> my poster frame I want to be the JPEG right here yes these little pointy things they work a lot better when I'm not making a video. So I'm going to come over here to the code and just see what this looks like to make sure it's okay. So here I have my thumbnail. That's good. And then my sources are all three of these. So that's all good. Um, the only thing that's not so good is the height and the width of this. We'll see that in a minute. So I'm going to go back here into the live mode and we'll see our little slideshow happening there. I have this huge huge poster frame oh it goes all over the place so what I'm gonna do remember right here I have a tag for video so I'm gonna write a new style inside this page uh, for video so right here style I'm going to plus I'm gonna use video but I don't need padding so I'm gonna up arrow to make that less specific and hit return and then for the size I'm gonna make this a percentage and we'll make it a hundred percent and just like we did before this is gonna be set to VW which is way down here and I'm gonna set it to about 55 and see how that looks okay back to live there's that ah much better now and there's my little Scaling, scaly friends, wonderful. I should put that in here. That seems to be working. So I'm going to try this out in a browser. So I'm going to do a save all. I am going to try this out. We'll try it in Google Chrome and see how that works. So there's our slideshow. Very, very slidey. Sliding around. Uh, my thumbnails are working. Come down here to the video. This is my thumbnail uh, for the video. I post the frame. Right here. And here's the video. So it's running. It's scaling. It's doing all the stuff that it should. Very happy with that. So let's go back here. Um, 
and we're going to put in an iframe movie. So this is going to be a link to one that's in um, YouTube. So let me grab the boy. Design view is getting to be a little goopy looking. Here we go. I'm going to grab this, copy it. We're going to call this fish. Fish of Catalina. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then down here somewhere under all this mess, I'm going to paste that back in. Art of Disruption. Also, I think that was a class. I'm sorry, not a paragraph, but a heading three. There we go. I feel better. So this is where we're going to put our next movie, an iframe movie. So first we need to go to... Let me close that. We're going to go to um, YouTube, and I've already picked this movie, The Art of Disruption. Um, and so while I'm on that page, I come down here to where it says Share. When I click on Share, I have these options. Embed is the one I want to share. I also have more options if I'd like those. And down here, under More Options, I have options of size and show the controllers and all this other good stuff. So you can do this. Um, what I'm going to do is just take this iframe, select all, and then copy that. This is um, ridiculously simple. I do not want to paste it here because this doesn't make any sense. But I want to go to my code and where this is in, uh, the inserted flasher is, that is where I want to paste all that stuff. Okay? So let's try this and see how it works. And I am going to go back to design mode and then into live mode. And it should work in live mode. Let's see. So there's one video and no other video. So let's do a save all and we shall view it in a browser and see how that works. Hmm. Still not working. Let's see what could possibly be wrong. In my code view, I noticed, uh, this has been going on for a little while, uh, that it won't work from my, maybe it will work on a remote server, but it's not going to work from my um, local server, which is my computer right now, unless I make the HTTP here, HTTP colon. With that in front of my web address, it seems to work fine. So let's try this one more time. I'm going to go look at live and if I slide down here then I see that my video is indeed here and will will actually probably run if I click play there we go so that's working. the only thing that's wrong with it now is the size of course I'm gonna do the same thing remember my code I have a new tag right here called iframe so I can make a rule for that in fact I'm gonna pretty much make the same rule I made for the last one so watch how clever I am. I'm going to go to Styles. I'm going to take the Video Rule. And I'm going to right click. No, I'm not. I'm going to Control click. There we go. And I'm going to hit Duplicate. Somehow. Duplicate. Now I have two Video Rules. I'm going to call the second Video Rule iframe. There we go. So now the iframe rules, if I turn on show set, are identical to the video frame rules. All right. I could also have put a comma, space, and then iframe, and then they would share the same rules as well. But let's see how this works back in live. And look at that. Just like magic. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So I'm going to do one more save all. I'm going to go check this out in a web browser. There's my slideshow at the top of my gallery page. Um, it's all working. Then I have my fish movie. It is working. Very happy about that. And then I have my art of disruption movie, and it's working. It's scaling. Every system with errors and deficiencies is condemned to reproduce its pathologies until it's functioning. Okay, that's enough of that.
So all this is scaling and working just the way I want it to, so it'll work good in the phone size. Um, I believe all these movies are compatible with most uh, mobile devices. So there you go. Um, make sure you do a save all before <laughs> you quit your work. And then uh, in the next movie, we're going to build a form. So come back and I'll see you then.